Good morning from Blizzard Beach here in Walt Disney World, Florida. We are going to have a fun day at the slopes. Uh, we are going to get down some of those water slides. We're going to do those toboggans. We're going to hit the wave pool. It is awesome. I mean, look at this sky. Can you see this sky? There's literally not a cloud in the sky, so it is going to be awesome. I am so excited. And uh, just take a look behind me. Well, I think we... Once again, we rope dropped Blizzard Beach, which uh, we usually actually do. But I think we got here even a little bit earlier um, than we normally would. But uh, yeah, we're first in line for Blizzard Beach, so it's going to be awesome. So we're going to spend a little bit of time while we're here showing you some of the tips and tricks and how to make the most out of your day at Blizzard Beach. So stay tuned. It's going to be awesome. Here we are. Blizzard Beach, chilling, waiting to get in, waiting to open. Check it out. All right here. First we're, in line. We're rope dropping so we can get in first in line for Summit Plummet. Because Max wants to ride it. So let's talk so I love this park, but let's talk about some of the some of the reasons why we get her early. Um, first is because in the summer it gets to be a zoo here. Like yeah. a total zoo. Like you may wait a half hour, forty five minutes to an hour for some of the slides. Yeah. Um, getting a chair in the like near the pools and stuff can be also extremely challenging so let's talk a little bit about what our main method is to make the most out of blizzard beach when we get here so they will usually line you up here and not let you in the park until maybe a half an hour 15 minutes depending before the park opens and they'll let you into the main area where the stores are and and, and you can get your lockers and things like that so what we do <clears throat> is we get here before it opens because we like to go, we like to go get a locker and like put all of our stuff in a locker. I mean everything, like hands free. So, two things you can do after you get your locker: you can put your stuff in a locker and save some of it, like some towels or things that you're not worried about getting stolen, and then go stand at the rope. And then the rope will actually let you into the main park. And usually they 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 do like a little show where Olaf comes out and they do a little like welcome to the park thing he'll be up there on uh, summit plummet i don't know if they're doing that with covid yeah, so we'll find out um or maybe they don't do it at all anymore i don't know so we'll find out but then when the rope drops you have two options you either go straight to the slides that you know are going to be popular so you leave everything in your locker or you save a few things and you go find a chair um that you want to that you're going to want to lay in and put your stuff there and then go straight to the slides but don't don't keep anything valuable on you right when you first get here Either way, after you put your stuff down in the chair, or um, if uh, uh, if you don't have anything on you and you're going to go straight to the slides, go straight to the to to the um, what we do is we go straight to the the chair lift. What's that thing called? Chair lift, ski lift. Ski lift. <laughs> go straight to the ski lift. Hop on the ski lift ASAP, like because that line can get kind of long, and that will take you all the way up to Summit Plummet. Because you don't want to walk up um, there, trust me. <laughs> but there's also two other slides up there is it what's the name of the other one it's, I don't know. it's like a surf it's more like a serpentine slide I can't remember the name but I'll, I'll hit it when we get up there so it's it's it's, it's a less intense than summit plummet which is the big huge tall wedgie machine Max um, that I that I will be honest it has probably the scariest when you get up there and you're on that slide and all you can like you can just see sky up there it's a little intimidating even for me uh, and you kind of have to like force yourself over the edge. It's actually less intimidating than the volcano at Volcano Bay, in my opinion. But I think the volcano is actually a little bit taller. Is the volcano taller, Max, than Summit Plummet? Yeah, it's a little bit taller, but it's less intimidating because they put you in a tube and you just shoot you down. So, anyhow, I digress. Thank you. So you you go up the chairlift and you hit Summit Plummet. If you're not doing Summit Plummet, then you want to hit that that body slide that's like a more of a serpentine slide because that's like the big single popular and it's really far up there then what you do is when you come down you'll be right at the bottom of the, the ski lift again so you just hop back on the ski lift quickly go back up and then hit the other ride so either do like we usually do summit plummet and then we do the we go hit the chairlift and go straight back up um and go straight back up i thought it was, i was gonna say slush and gusher but i don't think i think that might be it um Go straight back up the chairlift and then ride the second body slide that's up there. And then when you come off of that, go right back up 
the chairlift and ride the family raft ride, which will be on the right when you get off the ski lift. So hit those three rides really quickly in succession, and the rest of your day will go smoothly because those are the lines that get the longest, the quickest. The rest of the slides in the park and the lazy river and the wave pool, I mean, don't get super busy. So you can kind of just meet, you know, mosey your way around the park and enjoy from there. I will also give you a hint, and I don't know if they're doing this during COVID, but if you're with people, sometimes it's faster to just get into the single rider line when you go back to get on the ski lift the first time. Yeah. It's faster to just hop into that single rider line and take your way up because there's three people can fit on the lifts. They probably aren't, I don't know if they're doing that with COVID, so we'll find out. Um, but that's a quicker way to get back up because it is important that you want to try and get those first three slides done in like the first half an hour of the day, maybe the first 45 minutes. Um, otherwise, you might end up waiting for those slides like an hour um, when it's really busy. If it's not busy, you don't really have to worry about any of this, but this is kind of our tricks. And then after we get those first three slides down, we literally just kind of take it easy, go grab some breakfast, go grab some lunch, chill with the chairs, hit some of the other slides. But that's just a tip to save you some time um, and not get super like aggravated by waiting in line. So we'll see how it goes this time. We're gonna do, we're gonna follow this path and we'll see if it's any different now with COVID and depending on, and see how busy it is. So now I wanna, I wanna give you a little map a mapping out of what we usually do just so you can kind of see this so here's where we park we come in we chill at this entrance here as soon as they open uh, pre-open usually before you can get into the actual rest of the park they'll let you in right here and we usually come in here come around this curve to the right and right to here which is where the lockers are and then it'll be rope dropped here and here um, and then you can't get over here either so we usually drop, get our, put our stuff in the locker and then we'll stand right here and wait for this rope to drop. And usually it's a good view of the show that happens at Summit Plummet. As soon as they rope drop right here, we will basically walk from here straight to right here, which is the chairlift, which takes you all the way up to Summit Plummet. Summit Plummet brings you straight back down, get back on the chairlift, go back up, come straight back down, get back on the chairlift, go up, ride the raft ride, which takes you around and then you're free to do whatever you want the rest of the day. So that's kind of the path that we usually follow. I also want to point out for those of you with small children, a lot of people, if they're not interested in doing these big slides here, they will hang out at the rope drop right here at, the, at this top because as soon as it drops, it will allow you to go straight to Tykes Peak, which is right here in this area. And there's chairs over here and there's not that many chairs. So people will basically kind of run over to this area to get a chair so they're nearby their kids who will be playing in this area most of the day. So that's just another tip. If you have small kids and you don't care about the big slides, your best option is to go straight up here and grab a chair. And then the, the kids play area is right over this area. And then if you don't care about any of that and all you really care about is lounging at the pool, come across either this bridge or this bridge and I'll take you into here to get your seats. All right, we are finally going in, and it is and it is a complete half an hour before the park actually opens. We are going in. So my assumption is the ropes will be up there. Um, you can go into all these little shops that we're passing. They are usually open. <clears throat> so you can get to the rental huts to rent one of the, the little cabana areas, special seating. You can go in there and shop. They have bathing suits in these shops over here. So you, if you, you know, if you came to Blizzard Beach and you forgot your bathing suit, you can grab one over there early before the park actually opens. <clears throat> so I don't know who forgets their bathing suit, but hey, maybe, maybe you just didn't have one, or maybe you ripped it and you need a new one. I don't know. But the good news is, you can get one. You don't have to worry about rushing in here and trying to get one, you know, and missing out on all the fun. You can get one before the park even opens. So here we are, we're just hooking, we're just doing that little hook to the right here. <clears throat> and headed, yeah, I see the ropes up, so heading straight over here to the lockers. Let me give you a shot of that. Here we go. Going on in here, doing this little hook to the right. Heading over to the locker rental. Little, little foot wash here, little rinse yourself off. And over here to the right, we got the lockers. 
Now, once you get your locker assignment, you punch it in, they'll actually give you the, your locker number, and they'll have you enter a four-digit code. So uh, you can just get in and out of this locker anytime you want by entering your four-digit code. So we finished getting our locker. We put everything in the locker. We are ready to go, ready to go straight to get either a chair or ride the rides. You can see some of these little snack shops and things are open, so you can grab a quick uh, snack or breakfast or whatever if you haven't gotten it. And then here's the ropes. Like I said, this is the rope over here. It takes you to Tykes Peak if you're interested in the children's area. And this is the rope everybody's waiting in here to get straight to either the Summit Plummet or, uh, you know, a, a chair near the wave pool. So here we are. We're waiting for the rope drop, and we've got 20 minutes. So we got some pineapple. We got some strawberry. We got a couple ice cream sandwiches. I'm being honest. We got a couple ice cream sandwiches. And we got a pretzel. They don't have the Mickey pretzel, but they do have a pretzel. It looks pretty decent. And they have the Mickey cheese. So even if that pretzel is not the best, they got the Mickey cheese from Alejandro. He's going to bump it up a notch. And then we got this. This is the Blizzard Beach official refillable mug for $11. And oh, yeah, and Typhoon Lagoon. You can use it in both places, but only usable at the water parks, but refillable all day while we're here at $11.99. All right, so our plan worked out phenomenally. It is now an hour and 15 minutes since we entered the park and we've ridden all the slides. We've done all the slides. There's only seven main slides. There's the three green slides, which are Summit Plummet, uh, Slush and Gusher, and Team Boat Springs, which is a lot, uh, kind of like a family raft ride. Uh, and, I, and earlier I did say Slush and Gusher. I was talking about it being a body slide. It's not. It's a, it's a hill ride. It's been so long since I've actually ridden it, I forgot. And then Summit Plummet is the big one. So we did all three of those. We did the three purple rides. And the good thing about Blizzard Beach is they're all together. So like three green, three purple, and then one red. So like you can, you just get off, get back on, get off, get back on, get off, get back on, on the three different slides. So the purple slides um, were the, I forget the name of it, but it's, it's two, it's like a raft thing where it's two people race down it, like a toboggan racing thing. Um, and then there is the actual toboggan racer, which is like you get on like a, a lay down on a mat and you go down and you race each other. And then there's another uh, mat ride where it's just three like body slides where you're on a mat. And then the red slide, it's kind of off in the back and it's just kind of a sit down on a tube, go through like little twists and turns rides. So we did all seven of those rides in an hour and 15 minutes. And now we're gonna grab some food and then we'll probably after we're done eating lunch, we will and yes i mean we just ate some breakfast snacks like an hour ago but whatever it's time for lunch again and now we are gonna grab some food we're gonna do the lazy river we're gonna hit the pool we're gonna lay down in our seats that we reserve so yeah so far the plan has gone perfectly check out the wave pool Now, one of the things that I've noticed with COVID is that they don't have the tubes in the actual wave pool. Usually this wave pool is completely filled with tubes where people are, uh, you know, rafting around basically, and they do not um, apparently allow them because of COVID. So I actually prefer it without the tubes. I'll be honest. It's a lot uh, less, less crowded. And as I predicted, there is no single rider line to get on the chairlift so it's gonna be a little bit of a wait here but it's worth it if you don't want to walk up the giant mountain all right so as as you can see i made it on the chairlift um that was about a 15 minute wait from what i just showed you because we rode the chairlift up early in the morning to ride the three slides we didn't wait at all we literally walked right on the chairlift all three times um so you can see it's a it's it's a big advantage to do the three chairlift rides early in the morning. The will um, resume moving momentarily. Plus the chairlift stops a lot because um, you know depending on how if people have difficulty getting on and off, um, it slows down and stops. So the more people getting on this, the more likelihood it's going to take you longer to get on it. Uh, but it only took about 15 minutes, even with that line that I showed you. So, so as as with most ski lifts, you'll notice there's nobody coming down. It is a one-way trip. So you can go up, but you can't come back down. The only way to get back down is to either take one of the slides down or to take that staircase right over there. You can kind of see people going up 
all the way back down. A lot of people, it is actually faster to race up that staircase in the morning than to take the chairlift, but I'm way too lazy for that, so I'm gonna do the chairlift every time. All right, we made it up. So right here on the left is Summit Plummet, Slush Gusher. You have to be 41 inches tall to ride these. If you're not, you can take Team Boat, Team Boat Springs down, which is the family raft ride on the right. So people ask me a lot, like what is intimidating about this slide Summit Plummet? So I wanna give you an actual bird's eye view of what it looks like to go down this ride and give you kind of a little hint about what you're gonna see. Take a look at this view from up at Summit Plummet. There is no better view in all of Disney, in my opinion. Look at that, Expedition Everest right over there. You can see Pandora. Straight out there, you can see Space Mountain. You can see the castle. There's the Contemporary Hotel. There's the Riviera. Swan and Dolphin. You got Hollywood Studios. You got Guardians of the Galaxy. You got a big balloon over there is Disney Springs. That's the Star Wars land over there. I mean, it is such an awesome, awesome view from up here. Here we go. Here's a little taste of what you see when you're trying to go down the slide. When you're about to go down the slide, this is the view you get. Look at this. You have to have the guts to push yourself over that ledge right there. There we go. Oh, man, that is intense. So that's the big difference there. Look at that. Crazy. There it is. So that is the crazy, crazy view that you see. You have to kind of like inch your, like the difference, here's the thing, like Volcano Bays, uh, I forget the name. Volcanoes Bay, Bay's top ride, top slide there is a little bit taller than this. But you get into a chute and then they push a button and then you just drop. So it is a little scary because of that. But like, once you're in the chute, like they take control of it. This one, you actually have to push yourself over that edge. You've got to, it's almost like a, like a mental thing and a physical thing. You have to push yourself over the ledge and a, push yourself past that mental block of actually doing it. Uh, so it's pretty cool. I love riding this slide, but it is pretty intense. So there's a little glimpse of it. But look at this view up here. I mean, I can't, I can't get over it. Like I said. It's the best view in all of Disney. Right next to Summit Plummet as you come up is actually Slush Gusher, which is right here. It's a much less intense ride. Um, it does kind of like a little, like it's got the little hills there, so you can kind of see it right there. The Summit Plummet's way up there. Slush Gusher's down here a little bit further down, and it's just kind of like that, you know, wavy slide. It's pretty cool. Here we are on the observation deck, uh, right here but in the middle of summit plummet you can see summit plummet right above me here the takeoff is up there um, this is actually where they used to have Olaf would come out here and do like a wave to all the park guests um, that are coming into the to the ride into the park and there's the toboggan racers right there they're about to go down race each other over there is the storm slides over there uh, they're kind of like similar to the toboggan but it's, it's just sort of like a wavy slides and then straight over there you can't really see it that well but that's the two uh raft racing ride there so you can pretty much see all of the purple slides right over here oh here we go here they go here they go oh ah it's a fun ride fun slide Right down there is the runoff rapids. That's in the red zone. It's the only slide over in the red zone. Um, you get on a raft and you either choose the enclosed slide or you choose the open slides. There's two open slides. The enclosed one in the center is the is the most intense. But wow, I mean, look at look at how not crowded it is. I mean, there's just nobody even down there. Usually, there's just tons of people. So this is a perfect day to come. And I mean, look at the weather. It's awesome. Little clouds have shown up, but I mean, it's still really warm and blue. It's fantastic. The good thing about taking the chairlift up is that if you do end up deciding you don't want to go down one of those more intense slides, there is Team Boat Springs, which is the raft ride. Um, 
where like five or six people can ride on it in a big raft and it is super long um, I don't know if you can see it over there but like it starts behind me and then it goes all the way way over there all the way down it's a long ride and it's fun and it's very not intense it's just kind of like a cool chill ride all the way down um, unlike some other like big 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 raft rides so it's actually pretty cool so anybody can ride that doesn't you know no matter your height so if you get to the top and you're like oh I'm not quite tall enough to ride one of the the other slides you can go down on Team Boat Springs it's an easy way to get back down to the bottom or you can do what I'm doing which is I'm walking down the steps so that's the other option which isn't horrible going down is never nearly as bad as going up okay we stopped off here we just rode all the slides uh, like I said an hour and 15 minutes we hit all seven slides also reserved our seat got our lockers everything within an hour and 15 minutes of it actually opening it opened 15 minutes early so it, it opened 30 minutes early to get us in and then that 15 minutes to 20 minutes we spent getting our locker getting some breakfast snacks uh, chilling and then we as soon as it let us in we hit uh, we hit the chairs put our stuff down on the chairs um, like the, the non sealable stuff just like flip-flops and a towel. a towel then we did the order which I said which was we did some we went we went straight up the lift to summit plummet then we went straight up the lift again because it lets you off right at the lift to slush gusher and then we got off got back on the lift went up and did uh, team boat springs I think, I think that's what it's called, Team Boat Springs or something like that, which is the big raft ride. Yeah, I love that. Um, now that one lets you off a little bit further away from the lift than the other two. That's why you, I go in that order. Um, and, and then Team Boat, Team Boat Springs comes down. All right, and then as soon as you get off of Team Boat Springs, if you go to the right, there's a cave you go through. You go through that cave and it takes you to the Red Slopes, which then takes you right to the uh, Runoff Rapids is what it's called, which is a tube ride, single person tube ride. Yeah. Uh, so you go down that, as soon as you get off that, you keep going around that same path you were on to take you to the purple slopes. And there's three slides right there, one path that takes you up to all three purple slides. And the three purple slides, and usually the order that we hit them in, we usually hit the downhill double dipper, because that's actually first as you go up the steps and it'll be on your left, and it actually fills up really quickly, because it's only two people at a time, um, and it gets really full. So we hit that one first, you come straight back down, go right back up the same path, um, which, it, it, which is like a race, it's kind of cool. And then you come right up the same path, and then you hit the next two rides, which are uh, the Toboggan Racers and the Snow Stormers. Toboggan Racers and the Snow Stormers. Um, the order you hit those in doesn't really matter. They both let you right back off. So we did the, the, the uh, Snow Stormers one, which is like this kind of thing. And then we did the Toboggans right after that. And then we were done. An hour and 15 minutes. And now we're yeah. grabbing some food. So anyhow, here we are at the Latawata Lodge, which is... When you first come in the entrance, it's basically straight ahead or right on the kind of left there. And they've got like burgers and flatbreads and stuff. And we got, I, I, we, we actually all got the same thing. We got the bacon double cheeseburger. Yeah. Oh, look at that thing. Oh man, does it look good. Look at that. Oh, a little seasoning. Look at the seasoning on this fry here. Look at that. I mean, it looks bussin'. Okay. So this looks awesome. I think we're gonna dig in. Um, and it was, it was fifteen ninety nine though yeah, it was for pricey. this double cheeseburger and fries. Yeah. Um, the and chicken then, and fries is only nine ninety nine. So if you want something a little bit cheaper, get the chicken and fries. It and looked then, good. I saw somebody with it. They have like barbecue. They have like a little condiment section for yeah. barbecue sauce, mustards, different things. So uh, they also had honey mustard, I think. And hot sauce. Um, and hot sauce. So we're just going to grab the, we're going to eat the scrub, um, and then uh, we, we, we got the refill of a mug, which I already told you about, eleven ninety nine. so we just refilled it, so. Alright, so this double cheeseburger, I mean, it doesn't really have anything, it doesn't have anything on it, it's just a double cheeseburger with bacon, um, and then there's like a pickle across the top, and like a little cherry tomato, which you really, I don't know how you put that on the burger, but yeah. I went ahead and put it on my burger anyway. And then there's an, an onion ring that sits on top too, which you can put on your burger or you can eat. I put um, mine on my burger, because Max told me it's yeah. good, so. And then there's Test fries, it. so. Let's go with the fry first. I'm mm. gonna put hot sauce on mine. I haven't done it yet, though. The fry's good. pretty good. They're like thick. Whoa. I have a little Look bit of that. the seasoning on them. Like a thick cut fry? Actually pretty decent. Yeah. Um, they are. I couldn't find any salt up there, so I was a little disappointed, but. They're better than the fries at like Magic Kingdom that you typically get with uh, burgers and fries actually around all the Disney mm -hmm. yeah. parks. Oh yeah, um, no, they're way they're better, better fries. And this burger's a double cheeseburger yeah. instead of the single cheeseburger that yeah. is at 
like cosmic rays and stuff. Look at that, look at that sucker. Look at that thing. I've got ketchup and mustard on mine. I think she's just got mustard. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a rip. It's good. I like it. Master's right. He's, he's already eaten his. He said it was really good. It's pretty good. Um, it's a lot of, there's a lot of meat in there with the double patty and then the bacon. The bacon's really crispy and good, actually. Um, I like my burgers with tomatoes and lettuce and an onion, onion on it, so I am missing that a little bit, to be honest, but the pickle at least is good in the little chintzy cherry tomato, but overall good. Yep. Like a, a solid meal. Um, they also had some flatbreads that look pretty good. And, um, and there's one other place you can get like decent, like, like actual food from. Um, which is like hot dogs and nachos. nachos. And then I think I saw a pizza. If you can order, a, maybe mobile order like a whole pizza for your crew. So that's just probably gonna be the same Disney pizza that you get everywhere, but yeah, this is pretty good. $15.99, not too bad. Yep. Double bacon, cheeseburger, and fries. Look who we just saw walking. He just came out. Hey, Goofy. Yeah, he was waving at that little girl, but we'll pretend like he was waving at us. <laughs> Another quick view here of the Tykes Place here, kids area. A lot of cool things to do here. Uh, the best part about it is there's things for adults to do in this area and kids. So um, it's fun for everybody. You know, if you, if you want to stay in this area with your, your, your little ones, you know, make sure they're safe and having a good time. You can do stuff with them. See, like right here, you got this dad and his, I'm assuming this dad and his daughter about to go down the slides together. So that's fun, you know, doing things with the family. I love this little crossing right here. My kids used to love doing this when they were younger. You know, they had to try to get across these little ice chunks. Um, and they were always proud of themselves when they made it all the way across and then if they fell in, you know, it was all fun, all fun and fun and games. But yeah, I just, I just, I just think I love the theming here. It's all ice. Makes you feel very cool, very cooled off. So if you look over here on the right, you've got Tykes Peak, which is really meant for the smaller, younger children. You have to be under 48 inches to do any of the slides, any of the activities over here. You must be under 48 inches. You can kind of see they have some smaller slides over there on the left. A little pool area to kind of hang out. Oh, there's Candy and Max down there. I'm up here filming and they're going down the Lazy River. And then right here next to Tykes Peak. So here we are, Tykes Peak, right behind me here. Right here next to it, they're both in the same area, is the Ski Patrol Training Camp. And this is meant for um, anybody, it's any height, you know, probably like the, the children who maybe are more adventurous or um, the taller taller children, preteens, teens, even adults. It's pretty much anybody, any height, any size is welcome to join in this area. I, I usually just refer to the whole children's section as Tykes Peak. Um, I don't know why. I just I just get that stuck in my head now. It's just call it Tykes Peak, but there are actually two separate sections. There is Tykes Peak in the ski patrol training camp. So, Okay, can I just say how much Disney has stepped up their refillable mug game. Do you remember the old Blizzard Beach Typhoon Lagoon mugs? They were like, they were like mugs and they were like, maybe, I don't know, decent. I don't know. They weren't, they weren't huge. And, if, and then when you opened up, they were like really thick, like walled plastic. So you couldn't even put that much drink in it. Um, and they were fine. I liked them, but like, look at the new ones. Check this out. This thing's huge, first of all. Second of all, it's got, look at this cute lid here. It's like transparent, like bluish teal. It's got a nice handle on it, straw. And look how cute it is. Walt Disney World 50th anniversary. Look, it's got Mickey on it. It's got Donald. It's got Summit Plummet right there. And it's even got Typhoon Lagoon on it. Like. Yeah, stepped up. Hello, stepped up their game. I have to say, I am. I gotta tell you, I'm impressed. This is, this is a much better refillable cup than 
years past, but it's been a couple years since I think that I've gotten one of these, so I don't know how long they've had them, but they used to have these old mugs, and this rocks, so, and only $11.99. I think we're going to check out the old beach house, beach house. Check this out, I love this. It's really cool, again, themed very appropriately. It makes you feel kind of like you're in the Alps or whatever. But check this out. Like the gator crashed through the wall of the building and look, like you can actually see in, like it's actually a hole. It's pretty cool. I like it, I think it's neat. I always like to come in this little store on our way in or out, check out what they got. They have a Stitch Typhoon Lagoon towel. I'm guessing they're selling this Typhoon Lagoon towel here since Typhoon Lagoon is not open. And then they also have a Mickey Blizzard Beach towel. Look at this. Blizzard Beach. $30 each. I'm going to check out these little bathing suits. Look at this. Little Minnie Mousey bathing suit. Look at this one. This one piece. Look how cute it is. How much is this one? $49.99. Oh, that's actually not too bad. $49.99. We got a little chalk art on the way out. Pretty cool. Let's do one mini outfit. Oh, man. I think that's the person actually drawing them all. Cool. Yeah. She's the artist? Yeah. It's so awesome. Did you do Fozzie over here, too? Wow. Check Fozzie out. Hey, this dude. Only true artists can pull this stuff off. I don't know. All right, so just so we're clear, we've long since given up on a good hair day at this point. <laughs> okay? So yeah. just take it with a grain of salt. But we have had an awesome day at Blizz Blizzard Beach. He was going to say vo Volcano Well, Bay. I almost said Typhoon Lagoon. Oh. Anyhow, yeah, so we have had an awesome day at Disney's Blizzard Beach. It's been fantastic. We hit all the slides in like an hour and 15 minutes, and we did the Lazy River. We did the wave pool. We ate a lot, as usual. <laughs> um, it's really just not been that crowded. No, um, it it's, so There's nice. literally nobody. But but I just saw Polar Patio Rentals are sold out. So even even though it was not crowded here, the patio, you know, the, the little cabanas are all gone already. Yeah. Um, it says... Some lodge umbrellas are still available, but I mean, it's those things go quick, so you got to get here early and get them things rented. Um, but yeah, check this check this place out. Oh, there's Max. Peekaboo. <laughs> yeah, this is a, such a cute little area. Um, I just went into the store on the way out, and we were the only people in the store. The only people there's in the store. Like, really, no one here. Yeah, it's a tomb here. It's so crazy because it's so crowded and busy right now. But I, don't know, I guess I don't know. I don't know what the deal is, but I'm I'm loving it because it's literally Saturday. Yeah. Today is it's a Saturday afternoon Maybe which is it's and it's hot out so you yeah. think it would be like a ton of people here nobody here so whatever um it's been a fantastic day lots of fun highly recommend getting to blizzard beach i'm excited that typhoon lagoon is opening i think soon so we'll I'm, I'm really excited about hitting that again um it's been a little while since we've been in volcano bay so we think we're going to do that again so stay tuned we got more episodes coming if you have a good if you've been having a good time watching these videos subscribe like Hit the notification so you get our videos every single day. Thanks for tuning in. The Noble Way. Bye-bye, everybody.